would you say you've got your life in order? It all comes down to discipline when learning how to properly lead both yourself and others to enjoy happiness and success. Did you know that a 40-year study revealed that kids with self-control are more likely to succeed in the future? Did you know that according to a report on Frontiers, people with self-control are generally happier than others? You should also know that according to research, the typical person spends 3-4 to four hours each day repressing desires. The importance of self-discipline can be seen when fitness professionals, success coaches, and personal development gurus lay lots of emphasis on it. It's a crucial component whether you want to get healthier, spend less, be more productive, better, or have better relationships. So what are the things people do to build their self-control? We'll discuss some secrets to building yours. Also, you can learn more about yourself in general here on Psych Me Up. So remember to click the subscribe button. Get inspired. Have you ever noticed that you don't require discipline when you are enthusiastic about something or when you have a big objective in front of you? Suppose you want to reduce weight in order to look beautiful and fit for a high school reunion. It just got simpler to forego dinner and get up early for a run, isn't it? How about discovering that your desired position at work suddenly became available? It doesn't seem really challenging to arrive at work early, stay late and stay on track anymore, right? The word motivation comes from having a motive. Find a motive, but unearthing your why. This gives you a powerful internal drive. Avoid temptations. The contents of your environment influence your decisions. Put the unhealthy foods out of sight if you wish to improve your diet. It wouldn't even hurt if you avoided bringing them into the house, office, or within arm's reach altogether. If what you want to do is more important enough, there's no wrong in going the extra mile. Try securing a conference room, turn off social media notifications, keep your phone far away, and get down to the important assignment. If you are easily distracted while working from home, find a quiet place to concentrate. The point is to make it harder to get distracted and make it easy to keep focused. Refocus your thoughts on willpower. The fact is that you won't likely go beyond your willpower's boundaries if you think it is finite. Anyone applying to be a SEAL who thinks they won't likely make it through training won't succeed. We continue to grow and build mental toughness when we adopt the concept of limitless willpower. Setting goals to stretch your capacity adheres to the same principle. In other words, our internal ideas about self-control and willpower can influence how disciplined we are. You'll offer yourself a greater incentive to achieve those goals if you can get rid of those ingrained barriers and have faith in your ability to succeed. Practice daily diligence. Self-control is something you have to work on yourself. No, it's not something we are born with. So how do you become good at something? With regular repetition and practice, you can master any talent including self-control. Self-discipline calls for effort and concentration, which can be exhausting. Therefore, work on developing your self-discipline by being diligent every day in a specific area related to a goal. Whatever works best for you, put it on your calendar or to-do list. You don't have to think of this as a fail-proof idea. At the start, you might struggle to maintain complete diligence, but as time goes on, you'll see how much better you'll get. Remember, the easy road gets harder while the hard road gets easier. Make new routines and habits. As stated earlier, what you do repetitively, you master. Developing self-control and trying to establish a new habit can seem overwhelming. This is especially the case if you concentrate on the full task at hand. Keep things basic so you won't feel intimidated. Make your objective into manageable little steps. Let's say you want to become more fit. You can start with working out for 10 or 15 minutes each day. Start by going to bed 30 minutes earlier each night if you want to develop improved sleeping habits. In conclusion, take things slowly and maintain persistence. After all, a building that will last needs a solid foundation that can't be rushed. You can learn more about self-control in our next video. See you there.